Hey guys, it's The Minimistic here. I'm gonna do a special Celtic Cross reading for you today to celebrate my 45 subscribers. Now, why am I celebrating 45? The universe started showing me this 45 degree angle. And ever since then, I've been seeing it everywhere. And I feel like the 45 degree angle has to do with our ascension. I believe truly that everybody is on this 45 degree angle because that's the way the energy is moving right now. For those of you who don't know, my name is Missy Gordon. I am also a musician, as you can see by my guitars behind me. I was a minister for 10 years. Now I'm completely starting over. I was a prophetic voice and um, I'm literally just doing the same thing. Now I just have cards. Now I have visual aids. <laughs> That's pretty much the only difference. And then I'm completely excommunicated from the Christian church, but <laughs> aside from that. Now let's get to it. This is a reading for people who are in a growth period, and I truly believe we all are. This is a collective energy, so this is a collective reading. So let's see where we're, we're headed. Whenever you find this reading, it's gonna, it's gonna be for you. Seven of Pentacles. Look at this guy. He's like believing that this is growing. Look at his hand. He, there's like power coming out of his hand and he's, it's like he's manifesting, he's creating this plant here. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We are creating our own reality. We are manifestors of our own reality. Usually the Seven of Pentacles guy, I feel like he's like, hmm, huh, is this worth it? Should I do something different? Should I change my plan? Should I reassess? This guy looks like he knows his plan and he's actively working on growing this plan here. Our crossing energy is the three of wands and we're expanding because of that. We have the eight of wands in our foundation. These wands, it's interesting, they're, they're coming from all different directions, right? But it's like they're kind of meeting in the middle at a point. So this is what I feel is happening with the energy. Even if we're all doing different things, we're somehow meeting in the middle here. That's the beauty of the collective. Let me put on my glasses so I can actually see something here. <laughs> Let's see if I can see something. <laughs> Okay, in the past we have the Four of Pentacles. Look how she's holding on to her purse here. And she has her eyes closed. Queen of Cups in the mind. This is a very intuitive card. Look at her. She is connected. She is literally in the water up to her waist. And there's a fish here. There is abundance all around us. The crown chakra connected up. We are connected here. Let's just stay connected and stay focused on like what we're all working on and it's all gonna work out. Near future, Knight of Pentacles. This is an interesting Knight of Pentacles because he's not on the horse. He's actually leading the horse. Sometimes with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like there's not much movement with the Knight of Pentacles. But this guy, he's like, all right, if the horse is not going to move, I'm going to lead the horse. I'm going to lead the charge. It's, it's similar energy to the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, this literally looks like the same guy. Right? Same color hair. Mm-hmm. So this guy, which is interesting because this is the present. So it's like, even if we feel like things are taking a while to grow, first of all, there's the proof. It is growing. Whatever you're working on, it is growing, right? We are ascending. We are evolving. We are, to be spiritual about it, we're all ascending right now. The entire world. You know, the vibration of the earth, the Schumann resonance, the... Literally, scientifically, things are changing here. So, of course, we are going to ascend with that, whether we realize it or not. But to be more practical about it, because I'm a Virgo, sun and rising, 
how do we apply that sort of high level spiritual knowledge? What does that really mean for us in our everyday world? This is what it means, I believe. We are seeing things happen. The things that we've been planning, the things we've been working on, we're seeing the little buds come forward and we are leading the charge of our own life. This is like kind of a bit of a wheel of fortune energy where it's like he's actually the one who's in control of that wheel. He's not just leaving it up to whatever. He's leading the charge here. And look at all those pentacles. I mean, there's ten pentacles here. I think he's walking towards his ten of pentacles. We're, we're at the seven of pentacles in the middle of the spread. And it's looking like the group of people that I'm talking to here is looking to walk towards their ten of pentacles. There is ten here. I, I haven't seen another knight of pentacles that looks like that. And our crossing energy is the three of wands. Once again, this is like an active three of wands. She's the one who's moving the situation. She's not waiting for the ship to come in. She's going to get on this surfboard and move. Temperance is showing up in our soul space here. This is this is what's this is what we're showing up as like to our environment what we're doing within ourselves right now is temperance. And I, I love I love this temperance card because he has the sun and the moon. There there's a sense of balance here between the feminine and the masculine energies. I believe that that's part of this ascension process that's happening right now um, is that very thing. The feminine and the masculine within us all, because we all have both. And he's just, he's working with them both. And I believe that that truly is the secret to manifestation, the yin and the yang. It's being in the receptive and the receiving look at how she is she's receiving downloads she's receiving inspiration she's receiving wisdom from the universe but then we also have this where it's like we're putting it into practice in a practical real world way you know we're not just oh oh we're literally taking what we're receiving here, and it could be different for every single person, whatever you're working on, whatever your dreams are, whatever you want to do in this life, that's what you're receiving here. And this is in your mind space. This is crowning the reading here. Let's wait for that to pass. <laughs> He's moving on. They're working on the road outside of my apartment. <laughs> so what I was saying is it's, it's, it's the yin in the receiving and it's the yang, the, initi the, the initiation forward, right? And then understanding that you need both of those things to create something. That's what this temperance card is about. And it does take time. You know, it does take mixing things together. All right, sorry, we have to readjust. I'm not trying to flash you guys, I promise. <laughs> okay, that's a little better. I'm sorry that the Eight of Wands is like in my crotch area, but this is, this is the imagery right now. <laughs> this is how we're moving, folks. Now what's next in our environment? The Knight of Swords. And we have, we have another knight here. This this card is a... Shut up, beeping. This, this card always bothers me, and this is why. Because it feels like you're running out of time. That's what I always feel like with this card. And I feel like this is a very prevalent energy that's going on just in the world in general. It's this feeling of like we're trying to run after our proverbial motorcycle here. He's running after this. But he has this guide with him, too. He, he's not, he's really not behind. 
I don't know why his motorcycle is just in a ghostly manner, just moving forward without him. I'm not sure. But traditionally, the Knight of Swords is an energy of like going super, super fast. The Knight of Pentacles is typically a knight that goes much slower, is much more methodical. So it's kind of interesting that this is in the environment and this is in the near future. This kind of shows me if we can mix these two energies together with the temperance, where it's like going slow, being practical, thinking things through, taking, you know, calculated risks, along with just running as fast as you can, doing whatever you can do today, and, you know, maybe actually kind of overworking yourself a bit because you feel like you're lagging behind. They're both kind of like, this to me is kind of like, I don't want to say fight or flight, but this is kind of the extreme. It's like the up and the down and the up and the down. And I feel like that's kind of what we're in as a collective right now. So if we can just <laughs> mix these two energies together, we'll get the Knight of Wands which is a much better energy for like success. It's like, it's a, I'd rather things be like just a continual burn. Like when you're sitting at a bonfire with a group of people and you just keep putting on wood every single like 45 minutes, every 45 minutes, you just put on more wood and that thing would keep burning and burning and burning. We don't want to, pass out from going too fast right we also don't want to do nothing and be too cautious so if we can just mix these two guys together here <laughs> with the temperance card this is how we're showing up so we're able to do this we we have the power to do this we understand how to balance the two then we will have a much more successful like process here with whatever we're working on all right, so that's what I'm getting on that. Now let's look at the hopes and fears. I like how Nicholas Ashbaugh, he's another reader on YouTube. Go check him out. I love you, Nicholas. Thank you for your readings. He always calls this section of the Celtic cross hopes, fears, and opportunities. So I like to adopt that. Ten of cups, y'all. I mean, what kind of an opportunity is that? This is a, a card of happiness, and it's an unconventional happiness. I mean, for me, I'm LGBT, so I love to see this sort of inclusion on a deck. These are two women. And we have this rainbow here, <laughs> right? So this is, this is a beautiful, beautiful energy coming in. Wow. This is also a, uh, this is music. The children are dancing. The two women are holding each other here as the music just surrounds them and the cups just flow through our life. We have the opportunity to come into a flow, which is great with this card, of true balance and happiness where everything just kind of works together right that's what we have the opportunity here to become at it's it's just gonna take a little bit of temperance which is first of all patience all this sort of moving all this together especially because in the past we were a lot more stagnant here we are kind of literally holding our purse i mean all of us went through covid right people were i mean it, it ranges it's a range of reactions Stop beeping on me, brother. Don't make me come out there. All right, that's what I thought. So we were uh, in that COVID period, and so there, you know, it ranges from extremes to you know, it's it's a scale of how everybody reacted. But I think at the end of the day, a lot of us felt this sense of scarcity, kind of fear, like what's about to happen here, right? That was our past. So it makes sense that, you know, in our future, we're still kind of cautiously moving forward. But like I said, just to reiterate one more time, this guy is leading the charge here. He's leading the horse and there are 10 pentacles here. So I truly believe this card is alluding to the fact that not only can we have this 10 of cups, 
right? Which is happiness, fulfillment. But we can also come into this Ten of Pentacles if we will just continue to move forward in the direction that we're looking to go. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, best cards in the deck, you know, at least in the minor arcana. Okay, so here's our outcome. Justice, another balance card. I mean, that that is our outcome here. It's, it's plain to see that as we mix, right, we take what we get here with the yin from the universe and from others you know we can we can be reset we can be in a receptive learning position from other people we can be in, we could be in the queen of cups when we're watching a youtube video you know we can be like uh how do i um set up my microphone on youtube and that could be this it, it can be practical like that it doesn't always have to be like i'm receiving the downloads from the cosmic oneness of the universe i mean it can be <laughs> i love it all right i like the practical and the super deep spiritual shit so that's what this is mixed with the practicality of something like the seven of pentacles which this guy has a plan and he's going to keep working at it okay with the expansion of the three of wands crossing us moving forward from you know knight of pentacles knight of swords mixing these two together to kind of create a sort of balancing act here with these two balance cards this is also kind of like the Two of Pentacles, but these are major arcana. This is bigger than the Two of Pentacles. This is not just about balancing, like, you know, the everyday stuff. This is literally about balancing us as a spiritual being. This is our whole life right here. And this is the, this is the trajectory, right? So we're going to have to know how to balance all this. We're in a new world. Things are evolving. Technology is evolving. We're evolving as a species. And... I don't want any of us to be left behind. And according to these cards here, the people that are watching me, you're not going to be left behind. In fact, this is all about taking flight here. This is the 45 degree angle, the eight of wands. This is the ascension. This is the fast motion. Two balance cards here. Potential, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. Seven of Pentacles, we're seeing growth here and all the projects we're working on and expansion as our crossing energy. We're, we're in a receptive mode to receive inspiration and wisdom from the universe. Same with the Eight of Wands. This can be communication from the universe. This can be communication from other people. This could be working together. This is our manifestations coming to pass. You know, we're sending out our... our our mantras and our manifestations this is proof that they're coming to pass right it's like this is the energy below the tree here that is growing the tree of manifestation in our lives then we have this temperance card where we're able to balance everything we're moving fast forward you can move faster through your manifestations but like i said we don't want to burn out we want to kind of mix these two energies together the fast and the slow so that we can we can really do a lot of damage in a good way and not burn ourselves out and we're moving right towards happiness and fulfillment here right and the ultimate balance it's like you just feel right things feel aligned things feel balanced our bodies feel good our our relationships feel good our our work life feels good we're in balance doesn't mean everything's gonna be perfect but it just means you feel good about it you feel balanced all right so that's what i'm getting here for this celtic cross this was amazing and thank you for being here everybody celebrating 45 subscribers much love and until next time it was the meta mystic here take care